Welcome to the Arctic Tundra. This is Polar Check teacher Melissa Barker. I wanted to share with you some of the wildlife that I saw while I was in the Arctic. Often before we even see wildlife, we might see signs of wildlife, such as these caribou antlers. Decomposition is very slow in the Arctic, so skulls and bones uh, stick around for a long time. I bet you know what this is, caribou scat. I also saw a lot of caribou when I was in the Arctic. The caribou were moving through the area, finding mates, and then eventually will have their babies. Caribou are the only members of the deer family where both sexes, male and female, have antlers. So they're kind of unique in that way. You can also see that big shaggy coat that they were shedding um, as they were moving through the area. So we saw lots of fur on the ground. Here you can see out in the distance caribou moving around as we're walking out to one of our field sites. Oftentimes they would come up and sniff us and try to figure out what we were doing. But most of the time as we moved through, they would also, they would move away from us. What kind of scat is this? It's a little bigger than the caribou. You guessed it, moose. We saw a moose down in the Kuparik River Valley below one of our field sites, and this moose was hiding her little baby who was also with her at the time. We saw these hoof prints on one of our hikes. Any guesses? Doll sheep. And believe it or not, we even saw spiders and small little bugs like this one. One day we even found some caterpillars who were emerging and starting to crawl around on the tundra. We also often saw these tracks, which are from the Siksik or the Arctic ground squirrel. And this is their scat. They are, they are a hibernator and they live in colonies in the tundra. One of the most common birds we saw were the ptarmigan. And you can see through some of these pictures, the ptarmigan change color as we head into spring and the snow melts. The males and females actually change at different times. The males stay white so that they can impress the ladies with their red eye color, while the females will change sooner than the males so that they can blend in while they're sitting on their eggs. So you probably noticed then that the two ptarmigans pictured in these videos are both females because they're both changing and soon will be ready to sit on a nest. Bye buddy. Another one of my favorite birds was the long-tailed Jaeger. There were many of these out on the tundra, and they like to dive bomb anybody who comes by, especially if they have young. I saw many other bird species, including the tundra swans, as you see here, and the infamous snowy owl, which was pretty amazing. We saw some songbirds like this savannah sparrow and the white crowned sparrow. Another really interesting bird that we often saw at Tulik Lake, but is very difficult to get a picture of, so I borrowed these from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, is the Arctic tern. The Arctic tern has the longest migration of any bird of about 25,000 miles from its wintering ground in Antarctica to its summer ground up in the Arctic. Pretty impressive.